Hey guys, morning, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be continuing my Unpack With Me series. I'm so tired, y'all. I feel like I'm running on West Coast time and my sleep schedule is completely off, so I'm exhausted. I went to bed at like 2 a.m. last night. I know, terrible. So it is 10.30 now. And truthfully, I woke up this morning thinking that I was gonna film and do some get ready with me using some of the new products that I picked up, but Honestly, I feel like I have a little bit of a messy mind right now because I am still not unpacked. I've been here for about two weeks. Honestly, I have been traveling for some of that too, so there just hasn't been a lot of time to unpack. So the goal for today, today, this glorious Sunday, is I'm going to unpack all of my makeup. All of it. It needs to be done. It needs to be put away. I need to feel a little bit more comfortable in my space before I can actually start filming content and makeup application for you guys. So that's the plan. So this is gonna be part three right now. Um, I am gonna start off with my Pat McGrath products because it's just easier for me to do that. And apologies for looking raggedy, the hairs and braids. I took out my, um, my full locks, so that's where we at right now. So this is my Pat McGrath box. This is what we're gonna be working on today. This is the plan. So, whew, let's see how this is gonna work. Um, here's the thing too. In order for me to do this in a way that I think makes sense to me, I am not gonna be talking through a lot of this because I just need to get the things from the boxes into the drawers. So what I'm actually gonna do and what works well for me when I'm cleaning and whatnot is I'm gonna put on one of my favorite shows, Avatar. This is my little Avatar mug. Let me show you guys. So we have Aang. Saka, Appa, Katara, and then Toph and Momo. Sorry, this coffee is like filled to the brim. So I'm trying not to spill it, but I want y'all to see all of the characters. Toph and Momo. Um, it's like one of my favorite mugs. So I've been watching Avatar nonstop for like the past week as I've been trying to get things together. So I'm gonna plop my headphones in turn on avatar start unpacking i'm gonna try to angle the camera so you guys get to see everything going into the drawers and not necessarily my face because i know i get it i look like the struggle it is what it is but once things are put away i will feel better you know your mind is like your physical space is a representation of your mind so once things are put away then i think physically i will start to look and mentally i will also start to feel a little bit more put together so that's the plan let me go grab my iPad so I can plop it up somewhere, what, somewhere here while I start unpacking. Okay, let's get started. So I have both of my Byredo palettes in this box as well. Okay, so I'm realizing that this box has a mix of my Pat McGrath and my Natasha Denona palettes. It's all going to go into this drawer. This is what I was considering my luxury drawer, so it's where I kept all of my luxury palettes. Truthfully, I've kind of outgrown one drawer for luxury, so... I'm going to try to put it back the way I had it before, but we'll see what can and cannot fit because it definitely doesn't have enough room for all of the luxury that I have. So I might need to finagle these two drawers to make that work. Um, so I have three of my Natasha Denona palettes here. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack everything from the box, put it on the floor, and then I'll start packing everything into the drawer, see how it works. So what I can open, I will show you guys. Probably not my Pat McGrath stuff because the way the boxes are, ain't nobody got time to be undoing the string for all of the boxes. And you all know I have a large Pat McGrath collection. So I'll show you all what I can. So I have the gold palette. This is Sunset. This is the green brown. You have Metropolis. And then my Midi palettes. Some of these I have rearranged, so they might look a little bit different. This is the Love. I'm pretty sure I rearranged that one. My Dream. That should be the same. Zendo. I love this one. Sunrise. I think I rearranged this one as well. I have two Chanel quads, so this is one of them. This is the Mediterranean one, which is what got me in love with the Chanel formula. Then we have the Laja palettes as well. Circo Loco, which is amazing. Lila. And some of these look gently used. I'm very gentle with my palettes, so they don't look messy. This is the Safari palette, but I rearranged it to make it my own, and I absolutely love this one. And Trio Chrome, which might be her best palette. I think that's it for Natasha Denona. I do also have... Jesus, please don't break. Okay. So I have a couple of Viseat palettes in here as well, and I'm gonna just try to take everything out, separate them, and then we'll see how this works. Okay, time for Pat McGrath. So this is probably my biggest collection. Um, I love Patricia, you guys know this, so I have a ton of her palettes. I'm not gonna go open all these just because her packaging is so cumbersome, but I will show you guys the outer packaging so you can see what I have. So these two are from the same collection. Then I have the original trio, and these are all these six pans. I don't remember which holiday this one was from and then this was the first one that she started doing in this format where it's a lot easier to open this is also the one that I think has the worst quality in terms of her six months Then we have the Bridgerton series. I kept the boxes for this one, but I'm just gonna take it out of the box because the outer packaging is the same as the inner packaging. So these are the Bridgerton palettes. These, I think, were her first three quads. These are all special shade quads. Uh, Iconic Illumination is actually the first Pat McGrath palette that I got. That is what actually taught me that I didn't know what eyeshadow was until I saw Patricia. And I was like, oh, so this is how shadow is supposed to perform. Okay, now. So, best, best, and probably my favorite from her, just because it was my face. These two from 
a collection. I can't remember the name of it. Can't remember what release this was. And then we had these two. I think this was holiday 2021, maybe. Ooh, Venus and Fleurs. I think this was a part of her blush release, maybe, but this one is amazing. This is one of her best quads. Okay, I'm definitely missing one of these Mothership Megas. So I have the two here. Um, this was her first Mothership Mega. This one is actually really, really good. This was her second one. I really like this one as well. And I don't know where the new one is. I'll find it as we declutter. And then her motherships. So these were from the first round. I believe this is Mothership 2, Mothership 1. So this is 1 and 2. Then we have 3, 4, 5, and 6. I think this is 7. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you'll realize that once you got to the later motherships, the packaging all became this kind of imagery. So let's go ahead and start putting it into this drawer, see how everything fits. Okay, so this is what the drawer is looking like right now in terms of palettes. So, 
that's gonna be the setup for now. I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm also gonna put the two Byredo palettes on top here. And that's just gonna be it for now. And we're gonna move on to the next drawer. So I'll be right, I'll be right back. Okay, so next up we're gonna go through my Tom Ford palettes, and I do have some indie ones here. Let's see what we got. are just labeled incorrectly because this is not just Tom Ford this is I see Miss Charlotte Tilbury some rare beauty some Bobbi Brown so these are the OG rare beauty palettes that I keep I wonder if it's time to part with them I really enjoy the formula of these they're both um shimmer palettes but I have not been reaching for them but I like this. I'm gonna hold on to it. Ooh. If you have not tried the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow formula, Chef's Kiss. So let's. This was some Mac Friend Mail, and it is beautiful. And this is one of Charlotte's like first palettes. It's an all shimmer palette as well. More Viseart palettes. So I'm gonna just stack that to the side. I have a decent Viseart collection and it was not um, organized very well at my last place. So I guess I'm gonna try to organize my Vizia palettes better here. And I found some of my Nabla Cutie palettes. These are amazing. These are the best from Nabla. I might go ahead and declutter some of my just large Nabla palettes because I prefer this if I have any left. Um, and they're all numbered. So this is number two, Coral. Number five, Wildberry. This? number three platinum this one is one of my favorites it's amazing especially if you like cool toned eyeshadow can't believe i put tom ford on this and we ain't even hit, hit tom ford yet number seven analog this is number six midnight one of my favorites and some of these do have dual chromes in them as well number one nude this has some cream to powder mattes in there so it doesn't have as much depth as it looks like it does and number four metropolitan I could probably declutter some of these if we're being honest mm, I'll hold on to it for now so this is my cutie collection. That's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, finally we hit the Tom Ford. So I also have this little mini Viseart. This is the colorful one. So I'll put that in the Viseart pile. And then I believe the rest of this should be my Tom Ford palettes. So I'm not going to open all of these to show you guys because I think I have probably at least 20. So what I'm going to do with my Tom Ford quads is I'm going to actually put them in the last drawer of this and I'm going to try to separate it by color. So it, and by that I mean some of these have different packaging. The standard packaging is the brown Tom Ford packaging. So I'll try to keep that together. Then I have, some of the palettes actually have the white packaging, so I'll try to keep the white together. And then there's the gold packaging, which I think I only have one of. Oh, there's also silver packaging as well. And then most recently, this kind of ombre packaging, which could go with the white, it could go with the silver. I'll probably put it with the silver because from the top, it looks silver. So that's gonna be the plan in terms of unpacking these.
and I actually put a lot of my storage in here for the move so I'm just taking that out I also used these at the bottom of my drawers as protectors but I don't think I'm gonna do that this go around so I'm just gonna take it out and I'm gonna put the palettes directly into the drawer once I wipe it down So before I fill in the drawer, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up because it has my indie palettes as well. And I'm going to put this out so that I can organize it. So here are more indie palettes. So we have the original Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection. This is when they changed the formula and it is truthfully so much better now. My Kodan palette from Adept. I think they're planning to bring this one back. It's amazing. But the um, the mats in that suck. I have my Spooked palette from Come On Girls. I'm just getting rid of the sleeves because those things just take up space. My Oma Beauty collection. These palettes are absolutely amazing like the formula and the quality of these so good so we have carnival royal heritage this is the more neutral one Oh, this is the Freedom. This is what... No, this isn't Freedom. What is this? A Law? Uh, this one is Freedom. This is what started it all. This is amazing. So, I'm going to try to keep those together. Some more Glam Light palettes. This is the Duty Martini one. I think this was the first set of Glam Light palettes that I had. And this is the um, Chocolate Martini one. This is such a good neutral palette. And then we have Odin's, which I'm going to try to keep... I'm going to try to keep things together by brand, but we'll see. It honestly just depends on what my room is looking like. So we have Solomon 2... These two from the first um, influencer collab they did. I actually have the one from Judy as well, but that one's in my travel makeup bag, so I'll have to unpack it. And then I have, uh, what is these two called? Oh, the Christmas releases, which are nice. Actually, let me get the Judy one too. So this is the Red Dragon one. Um, do I wanna keep the sleeves of these? I don't think so. I think it just takes up time trying to get into these. So I'm just going to take the sleeves off of these. I also have this old milk sack. This is now a palette, so you can't get this anymore, but I'm going to keep that. And then I have some of my Kaleidos, so I have to find where the rest of that one is. And then I have this Shelby palette. This is the only one I have from this brand. So pretty. So I have this one Kaleidos palette. Again, just getting rid of all of this excess packaging. I think they discontinued this entire line.
so I also have a couple of palettes from Menagerie um, what is this one I think this is the whale no this is the indigo palette Do I need this one? Oh, I love this one. This is the collab that they did with Annette. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here for now because we've already been filming for an hour. I'm going to go ahead and start getting the other boxes to bring them in here so I can start unpacking those. And then we will continue with part four, I think, of this series. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!